Have you ever been bit by a snake? Yes. By what? A Bernese python? Yes, actually. When I was feeding him, I went to go feed him, and I was like probably, I don't remember how old, maybe like 18 or something, and I just didn't really, I wasn't that on it with like being super safe about things. I was just kind of like, oh, whatever, you know. And uh, I had gotten, they didn't have uh, rats at the store, so I had to get mice, and I ended up getting this little mice, and like, for some reason, I just thought it'd be smart to, like, dangle it. Sure. A little tease. Yeah. So he came up, because he was, like, in the middle of the floor. And uh, I don't know why I didn't feed him in the cage. I have no idea. But, um, so he came up right past the mouse, straight for my thumb, latched onto my thumb, picked himself all the way up off the ground, wrapped around my arm. Jeez. There's blood dripping everywhere. I'm like, what the fuck? And the ma mouse is running around. And um, so finally I ended up putting him under the water and like rinsed off, like was rinsing because he would not let go. He was like determined to eat my finger. And um, finally he let go, put him down. I was like trying to tend to my wounds. Meanwhile, a friend of mine was over there. The snake is like hungry, freaking out in hunt hunting mode. And um, <laughs> it was hilarious actually. Um. <clears throat> And they, they're not obviously venomous, so... No, but it they have, like, little razor teeth, though. So. Uh-huh. And, um, how, did you have to get stitches or anything? No, no. I mean, it was just, like, it, it just latched onto my thumb and just left little, like, little imprints, kind of. I mean, obviously, it was, like, it wasn't bad. Because he wasn't that big. It was probably about, like, this big. Uh-huh. And, like, that fat around and, like, the fattest part. Right on. Yeah. Okay, cut. <laughs>